Hey there, car enthusiasts! Today, we're taking a close look at the all-new 2025 Renault Symbiaz. This compact family car is making waves in the C segment, and we're here to find out if it lives up to the hype. First impressions? The Symbiaz is a bit of a Goldilocks car. Not too big, not too small, but just right. It's perfect for navigating city streets while still offering plenty of space inside. And speaking of space, let's dive into the interior. Under the hood, Renault's E-Tech full hybrid powertrain, putting out 145 horsepower. Now it's not going to win any drag races, but that's not the point. This engine is all about efficiency, and it delivers with an impressive 50 miles per gallon on the WLTP cycle. There's also a neat feature called E-Save. Hit a button on the dash, and it keeps the battery charged to at least 40%. This comes in handy when you need that extra boost of power, like when you're tackling a hill. Step inside the Symbios, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. The iconic trim we tested feels more premium than you'd expect from a mainstream brand. There's brushed aluminum on the dash, fancy diamond patterned seats, and an overall sense of quality that punches above its weight class. But the real magic of the Symbios is its flexibility. Renault calls it a voiture à vivre, a car for living, and they're not kidding. The rear bench slides a whopping 16 centimeters. Why does this matter? Well, it means you can choose between extra legroom for passengers or more cargo space when you need it. Speaking of cargo, the Symbios is a bit of a TARDIS. With the seats all the way back, you've got 492 liters of space. Slide them forward, and that jumps to 624 liters. Fold them flat, and you're looking at a massive 1,582 liters. That's enough room to make some compact SUVs jealous. Now, let's talk tech, because the Symbiaz is packed with it. The star of the show is the OpenR Link system, featuring a 10.4-inch vertical touchscreen and a 10.3-inch digital instrument cluster. It's got Google built in, so you get seamless integration with Google Maps, Google Assistant, and even apps from the Google Play Store. It's like having a smartphone built into your car. But the coolest tech feature? That's got to be the optional Solar Bay glass roof. With the push of a button, it can switch from transparent to opaque. It's like magic, and it's sure to impress your passengers. Under the hood, Renault's E-Tech full hybrid powertrain, putting out 145 horsepower. Now, it's not going to win any drag races, but that's not the point. This engine is all about efficiency, and it delivers with an impressive 50 miles per gallon on the WLTP cycle. There's also a neat feature called E-Save. Hit a button on the dash, and it keeps the battery charged to at least 40%. This comes in handy when you need that extra boost of power, like when you're tackling a hill. On the road, the Symbiaz is a comfortable cruiser. The suspension soaks up bumps nicely, and the steering is quick and responsive. It feels nimble around town, which is exactly what you want in a family car. Safety-wise, Renault has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at the Symbiaz. There are 29 different driver assistance features available. You've got active driver assist for level two, autonomous driving, rear automatic emergency braking, and a clever new feature called My Safety Switch. This lets you activate or deactivate your favorite safety features all at once. It's a small touch, but one that shows Renault has really thought about how people use these systems in real life. So, what's the verdict on the 2025 Renault Symbios? Well, it's entering a tough market, but it's bringing a lot to the table. It's practical, efficient, and packed with tech. The interior is a pleasant surprise, and the flexibility it offers is hard to beat in this class. Is it the most exciting car to look at? Maybe not, but it's a smart, well-thought-out package that should tick a lot of boxes for families and city dwellers. If you're in the market for a compact family car, the Symbiaz definitely deserves a spot on your shortlist. That's it for our first look of the 2025 Renault Symbios. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more car reviews. And let us know in the comments, what do you think of the Symbios? Would you consider it for your next family car? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I read every single one. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified about my next upload. See you in the next video.